WWOZ is proud to celebrate 300 years of New Orleans history with this tricentennial music moment. There's a song that's been heard every Mardi Gras since 1872. Originally, it didn't have anything to do with New Orleans. It was actually written by an English comedian. But in a coincidence involving a Russian Grand Duke and an American showgirl, it became the anthem for every Rex parade since that very first year. In late 1871, the handsome and tall 21-year-old Russian Grand Duke Alexei Alexandrovich Romanov started a goodwill tour of North America. When he was visiting St. Louis, he saw an actress named Lydia Thompson in a play, singing a novelty song called, If Ever I Cease to Love. If ever I cease to love, if ever I cease to love, may the moon be turned into green cream cheese, if ever I cease to love. People said that Alexei was smitten and pursued Lydia. Now, whether he did or didn't, we don't know. But the story got around. Fast forward one month. One of his last tour stops was New Orleans for Mardi Gras. A new crew called Rex had been formed to put on a daytime parade with a new king of carnival called, you guessed it, Rex. And because the Grand Duke was in town and the actress Lydia just happened to be in town and everyone had heard the rumors, the song If Ever I Cease to Love was played by every single band in the parade and it became the anthem for Rex. Alexei? He didn't meet up with Lydia. They say he moved on to another actress. Then he left town. Lydia, she left town too. But the song, it stuck around. Now, it wasn't any great piece of music. It was fun, and you could add new verses. It became part of New Orleans, something simple that everybody could riff on in their own special way. And it's been recorded by musicians from George Lewis to Johnny Wiggs to John Rankin to Hazel the Delta Rambler. If ever I cease to love, if ever I cease to love, may the Grand Duke ride a buffalo, if ever I cease to love. For WWOZ, I'm Brian Batt. This tricentennial music moment was made possible by the New Orleans Tourism Marketing Corporation, the Derbis Foundation, Hancock Whitney Bank, and the Ruth U. Fertel Foundation. Special thanks to the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation. To learn more, go to wwoz.org and keep listening to WWOZ for more tricentennial music moments. If ever I cease to love, if ever I cease to love, may the Grand Duke ride a buffalo, if ever I cease to love. For WWO, for WWOZ, I'm Brian Batt. That okay? We got it? You want to do one more or are you okay? Okay, good.